Maritime Museum is a place to store Indonesian marine collection. The stored collections consist of various types of traditional boats with various shapes, styles, and decor staff to VOC era ships. In addition, there are also various models and miniature of modern vessels and equipment to support shipping activities. Also, equipment used by seafarers in the past such as navigation devices, anchors, binoculars, like house models and cannons. The facilities of Maritime Museum or Museum Bahar, Indonesian Fisherman Community Room. Provide miniature ship and service equipment. Jakarta Port Room 1800 until 2000 or World Trade Center. This room is to keep artifacts related to the historical port in Jakarta in the trench, including cannons, ceramics, and fortress. Best technology for casing fish. This room is to keep fishing rods, straps, and nets. Indonesian European Steamship Cruise. Photograph of documentation of the first steamboat voyage from Europe to Asian. G community services. Space for traditional shipbuilding technology. Technology and shipbuilding center. The museum was installed in former Dutch East India Company warehouses. The warehouses were built beside the mouth of Chiliwang River, the main river of Jakarta. The warehouses is divided into two parts, the Westizer Pakwaizen, a warehouses of the West Bank, constructed from 1652 until 1771, and the Uzaizer Pakwaizen, or warehouses of the East Bank. The West Warehouse consists of four building units. Three of them are now used for the museum. These were formerly used to store spices, example nutmeg and pepper. Also, coffee, tea, and cloth were stored here before being shipped to various ports of Asia and Europe. Between the warehouses and the city wall in front of the museum, the company kept supplies of copper and tin. These metals were protected against rain by a wooden gallery attached to the front of the godowns. This broad gallery was also used by guards on patrol because the path on the city wall in front of it is rather narrow. The wooden gallery was attached to the second floor of the warehouses facing the waterfront but has long gone since been taken away. The big iron hooks which was supporting the gallery can still be seen. Some of the warehouses were rebuilt at the end of the 17th century in order to create more space between the city wall and the warehouses. Different dates on stones appear above some doors of the museum which probably refer to the years when repairs, extensions, or additions to the warehouses were executed. Marine Biotaru, various types of fish, shellfish, and seafood. The Maritime Museum also displays a collection of marine biota data on the types of distribution of fish in Indonesian waters, and various equipment and stories and traditional songs of the Nusantara fishing community. The museum also displays the TNIAL dimensions, cartographic collections on Ras Island models, Nusantara maritime figures, and KPM Batavia Amsterdam ship trips.
navigation room. This room is to keep compass, telescope, and number of navigation aids. During the Japanese occupation, the warehouses were used as a logistics storage for the Japanese army. After the nation independence, it was used as a warehouse for PLN and PTT. In 1976, the building was declared a cultural property. The building was inaugurated as a museum displaying the maritime history of Indonesia on July 7, 1977.